Okay, most of us are working towards achieving happiness and success, but could there be something holding us back? Yes. Motivational speaker Rich Brackett <laughs> is here to help us understand how we can all stop that self doubt, the stinking yeah. thinking. Rich, you talk about the imposter syndrome. You talked about it before. We've had this talked about this subject, mm -hmm. and why is why is it so prevalent with everybody? With well, everybody? first of all, let me recognize the fact that you brought back stinking thinking, which I yeah. love. <laughs> that word. love it. Now, imposter syndrome and self doubt are very prevalent because a lot of us don't forgive people that have told us that we weren't worthy in the past. Mm. So whether it's an authority figure, a parent, a boss, a coworker, somebody that has challenged your credibility or challenged your value. And we take that personally. We have negative bias. Mm -hmm. You know, you could tell me a hundred positive things, and somebody else can tell me one, and that's the one thing that I'm hanging yeah. on to. Yes. Yeah. And the most powerful thing you can possibly do is forgive that person, no matter how long it's been. Forgive that person, even though they may not even be thinking about you. If mm -hmm. you're still holding on to it, saying, you know what, I forgive you for what you did, because that was their problem, not yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's There's awesome. no need to harbor on that. Right. And that's so common. We take, we can receive a hundred good compliments and then we focus and harbor on that negative. We do. We, fo we focus on the one because we, all of a sudden we feel challenged. Mm -hmm. We feel less than. Yeah. Because the, we just, we're, we're prone to having those feelings. But again, especially when it's somebody that we trust, somebody that we work with, that we spend a lot of time with, it becomes problematic because we feel like they have some sort of credibility in saying what they do. Mm -hmm. So we'll, mm -hmm. well, maybe I am not, I'm, maybe I'm not that good. Maybe I'm not that valuable. Maybe I'm not that important because that person has some sort of say-so in our life. Mm. Mm. I can see how forgiving a person would create that confidence, that self-confidence within you. Mm -hmm. But over time, just like anything else, that confidence can wane. Mm -hmm. And it, it just creeps yeah. back into your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do we stop that? Sure, and this is something I battle it all the time. I think we all battle this, yeah. where no matter how long it goes, we can be positive on a daily basis, but even the small negativity creep that happens on a day-to-day -day basis, or over the long term, you could have four or five good days, and then that one thing, maybe you're too tired, maybe you're overly stressed, maybe somebody did say something, maybe something bad happened, and then all of a sudden we let that negative creep come in. But when you start saying like, hey, I understand that I'm going that route thought-wise, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna say, nope, stop, halt the thought right there. That is where you can actually make a decision as opposed to just letting it happen. Because how many times do we get in that mindset, mm -hmm. something negative creeps in and we just let it and it just, it's almost like a, a slow drip on a faucet. It just yeah. keeps building up and building up and building up. Mm -hmm. So do, is that something that you, do you do it out loud? Do you say, nope, I'm not gonna do this out loud? Do you say it mentally? How do you uh, make it more effective so that you can really get sure. yourself under that understanding like I need to stop this. Absolutely. I do it both internally and externally. Now yeah. I, I'm very careful about where I say it externally. <laughs> exactly. If I'm this sitting here all of a sudden and I'm talking I go nope. That, you know, like, I don't want to no, startle yes. somebody or if I'm in traffic or yeah. something I don't want people to look at me crazy. But it really is important to say it out loud and, yeah. and internally yeah, because okay. that out loud voice mm -hmm. is a little bit more powerful at times. That's so true. when we think about you know we can we can talk to ourselves all the time as we should and if we're thinking those things, we think, you know, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna think this anymore. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. But if you say, uh-uh, nope, I'm done. I'm done with this. And you know, again, whoever is watching you may have some questions. But if you're doing that, you're saying out loud, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to go down this negative path anymore. I've had enough. It stops right here. Mm, good stuff. That makes you stronger. Yeah. It makes you stronger. It every single does. day. Every yeah. step of the Always way. Always great to see you. If people would like to check in uh, with you, maybe see well, what you're doing, where can people find you? Sure. They can find me on richbracken.com. They may find a video of me saying nope out loud somewhere <laughs> in public. So keep an eye out for that. But yeah, richbracken.com is where they can find all the information. All right. All right. Great stuff. Great Thanks so much great for being you. with us Thanks today. Thanks so much. All right. Coming up.